And now, ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. Welcome to PrennerCast. Yes, business cards being swapped, beers being drunk. Can I say a nasty word? Can I say procrastination? With Pete Williams and Dom Gocher. How well did that go down? We can talk about that entire thing in a very another rant and soapbox episode if we want to. Visit us online at printermedia.tv. Continue 300 feet, then turn left on Glades Road. Turn left on Glades Road. Then take ramp ahead. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Preneurcast. It's another special edition because Pete and I are in Florida. We're actually together for the first time in the history of Preneurcast. You and I have actually been not only in the same country, but uh, in this case, in the same car. Indeed, we are on our way to a very special location. Where are we going, Pete? So this week we've uh, been in Florida, in uh, Delray Beach, working with uh, Rich Sheffron and his team on a whole bunch of stuff. So we are uh, heading there for our uh, penultimate day, which is uh, very, very cool. So just got a a Kalicious green smoothie from Whole Foods and uh, just heading the 10 mile journey to the office. That's right, we all live in the Florida dream. And if you heard the uh, strange voice in the background, that's our GPS just reminding us where to go. Absolutely. So uh, this week's show, we've got a lot of cool stuff to cover. We've got some stuff about Rich and, and what we've been doing here with him and, and, and the main purpose of the trip. Uh, but obviously, as always, uh, another Preneurcast episode with another fantastic topic. Yeah, this week we're going to talk about serial versus parallel. So look out for that in a minute. But uh, Pete, let's go in a little bit more detail about why we're over here at the moment. Sure. Well, um, I'm not quite sure if uh, many listeners would have um, seen a presentation that I gave at a a seminar in Melbourne probably 18 months ago now, which the the title of the presentation was Lessons in Leverage. And it was all about how to actually get more out of what you're already doing. And I fundamentally just stood on stage for 90 minutes and did my work. I replied to emails, I created some content, we produced some video, did a whole bunch of stuff just on stage and allowed people to look over my shoulder as I got stuff done. And uh, out of the three day event with multiple speakers and people from all across the globe, um, the presentation got the only standing ovation, which is really, really cool. People sort of obviously resonated with the the frustration of having to get everything done and not knowing where to start and that overwhelm uh, and feeling of uncertainty as well. So that was really, really cool. And then- Take ramp on right to I-95 North. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, like, and what happened was that presentation got recorded and was, was made available for purchase and it, it ended up on Rich's desk. Now, Rich is uh, the founder and CEO of Strategic Profits, which is a, uh, a business obviously based here in Florida that works with entrepreneurs to take them, I guess the easy way to put it is from opportunity seekers to strategic entrepreneurs because there is that sort of mindset set shift that it takes to, to become a successful and strategic entrepreneur. So he works with those types of people from across the globe, um, saw my presentation, thought it was really cool, and uh, tracked me down to sort of say, hey, you should come over here, uh, spend some time with my team, help us get more efficient, help, help us get more effective uh, in getting stuff done and producing more content and leveraging what we're already Drive doing. 6.4 miles on I-95 North. Yes, I hear you. Um, and, and all that sort of stuff. So it's been really, really cool. So that's sort of the, the crux of why we're here. But at the same time, Rich has had a, uh, a team of uh, technicians in the office putting together some live streaming hardware and software. So he can actually do live streams. So not sort of like a, a webinar or anything, but live, face-to-camera, fully interactive live streams. So what we're actually doing on Thursday at 6 p.m., that's US Eastern Standard Time, is actually going to jump on live and, and you know, beta test this um, software for uh, his, his you know, high-end clients. We're going to talk about a lot of the stuff that I spoke about in that original presentation, um, the stuff we've been doing with his team here uh, this week, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. So that's kind of the purpose of the trip. And does that answer the, the question, Dom? Yeah, it does. I mean, that, that really was just, it, it genuinely was a stand innovation. I mean, we, we have that video. And that, could, we, could we let that video out? All right, well, yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll put a link to it in the show notes. Yeah. Um, for sure, we can definitely uh, get yeah. that up and running. I mean, there's some fantastic lessons in that on how to, uh, to to hack your workflow. And it really is what you do every day. It's how you do what you do and how you get it all done. Which is, And it was real as well, which is what I liked about the presentation. It was, it was you genuinely did answer your emails and, and, you know, deal with forum posts and things like that. All these everyday tasks for, for people that are dealing in an online marketplace. Uh, it was also the first time I think you kind of 
made public our little process for creating video as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. It was the very first time I ever sort of let the cat out of the bag and gave people the opportunity to look over over, over our shoulder of how we actually produce, you know, content for, for the various companies, whether it might be if you're an information marketer and are producing videos and reports and that sort of stuff, or, you know, we actually do this in our real world company as well. We do some training videos of how to use phone systems and, and sales presentations and things like that. So we use that same process in my real world business when we are, you know, sell and install phone systems all around the country. And, you know, if you're a consultant or even, you know, if you're a, a tradesman, you know, the we talked about in one of the previous episodes of Preneurcast the importance of having you know, high quality proposals and presentations that you can actually take out. So it's not that crappy piece of paper that every single tradie does when they're quoting on some roof tiling or something like that. You can create some really cool video that can go on not only on your website for lead generation and conversion, but a great you know, additional asset for conversion um, of proposals. So there's a whole bunch of ways you can actually use the sort of the content creation stuff that will be available in the video that we'll, we'll throw up on the, um, the show notes. Uh, and what we should also do too is throw in the show notes um, the link to the um, live stream we're doing because uh, you know, Rich has put this together for his, his personal clients and his high-end clients only, but uh, I, I sort of said to him, well, if I'm going to let the cat out of the bag, at least I want some of our community to be able to sort of, you know, give me experience. So if you're, if you're you know, a listener to the Trinidad cast, to me, you're part of our community. So uh, there'll be a link to the show notes of uh, where you can get some information about the live stream. Yeah, and, and, and again, back to that, the, the big, the original presentation, I think one of the reasons it resonates with people is because it's all real stuff. You do it, we do it. Um, and also that it's applicable to any business. It's not just about being in an online business. A lot of the techniques you use are applicable in any business, uh, which is, again, what we're all about. We're not just focused on, on online businesses. So so, so that, anyway, folks, that's what, that's what we're doing in Florida. For anybody who's seen the, the various things happening, tweets and Facebook posts, posts and random videos from car parks of health food stores, um, just a second, I'm just going to have another bit of my Kalicious drink. Um, it's beautiful. Get on the green smoothie, everyone. This is the health tip for the week. We should start embedding some health tips. Green smoothie. So it's got apple, banana, uh, hemp protein, spirulina, kale, spinach. Is that it? I think that was it. That's, it. That's yeah. everything that makes up the uh, the Kalicious. And it's all just blended through. And it's a, a beautiful start to the day. Very, very healthy. Yeah, Pete's got me on the health kick this week. So uh, really looking forward. You're going to be a change man after spending a week. I, I certainly am. Okay, so, so that's what we're doing here this week, but let's uh, get back to the regular program, as they say. <laughs> I'm really doing this American thing very well. You are. Yeah. You are. Um, let's get back to regular programming. And let's, I, I want to talk this week, Pete, about serial versus parallel. Um, sure. And, and the, what I think is a really dangerous thing. A, lo- a long time ago, a few years, a few years ago, I, I saw a presentation by, by someone, and I, whoever you are, if you're listening to this, A, thank you for listening to the show, uh, and, and B, I'm sorry, I'm not stealing your idea, I'm just telling everybody it was a great idea. Um, I saw this presentation where, where, this, where this guy basically said, look, if you've got three projects, and each one of those projects is going to take you, um, each one of those projects is going to take you three weeks, what a lot of people do is start all those projects at once. Um, because they think that they, they're just going to get them faster, they're going to shortcut, um, you know, they're just going to be, they just think they're going to get everything done in a short period of time. Some people actually genuinely believe that they're going to do three three week projects in three weeks. And the reality of it is, and I can, I can personally attest to this, Pete, I'm, I'm hopefully you can probably bring some evidence to this as well, but um, the reality of this is that it usually takes actually more than nine weeks, more than the than, than each of those timelines added together to well, get all those things complete. The, the way I look at it is almost it's like negative compound effect. Obviously, we've spoken about the compound effect in positive ways that you get from the seven levers. Yep. By doing little things, the, the compound effort actually gives you a greater result. Whereas in this scenario, by actually trying to do three separate small tasks, one after each other, it actually ends up costing you more because it's just hard to juggle so many things. So you know, it's, it's almost a negative effect and then you're better off trying to actually do a three-week project, then a three-week project, then another three-week project, which gives you the nine weeks, as opposed to trying to do all three projects at once and spread that um, implementation out. It actually ends up dragging along that because it takes up mind share and there's distractions and all a whole range of other sort of superfluous things that pop up in that process that actually mean that 
end result, the finished state of those three projects is actually greater than the, uh, the sum of the parts. Absolutely, it's that dilution of effort. In point the eight miles, the dilution. take exit 52, on right, Thank to you. State Road 806. I think she's done that, yeah? I think so. Okay, better than what she says. Um, it's that dilution of effort, it's, it's the lack of focus, it actually, it actually reduces your focus, uh, which, is, which is what I, which is why I call it dangerous, the, this idea of doing things in parallel. I'm not saying don't do you know, anything at all, because obviously you've got a business to run, you've got some day-to-day -day things that you need to get done, but it, you Take will find... Take exit 52, on right, to State Road 806. You will find that if you focus on one thing, it's, we're back to CFTs really. Yep. It's just a big version of CFTs. If you focus a lot of your effort on one thing, it will get done faster. But let, if CFTs? Just, let's do the, uh, explain what CFTs is. Yeah. Oh, that. Sorry, sorry, just to, just to hark back. We have talked about this a little bit before, but let's just recap there because, yeah, Pete's right. Keep right on to State Road 806. I'm going to turn her off, I reckon. I'm, I'm going to roll the dice and oh. hopefully. Oh, hang on. Let's turn the volume down. Okay, folks, if you don't see us for a couple of weeks worth of shows, we got lost somewhere in Florida because Pete turned off the GPS. Um, yeah, it, it, CFTs, critical focus time. The, the concept there, let's just recap, is, is this idea that um, we're all distracted. We're, we're distracted, distracted through our days. We distract ourselves. We leave things like emails open, Twitter, Facebook, and, and we never really actually focus on what we're doing. We never give it 100% of our attention. And... So the idea behind this, the CFT, this critical focus time, is to block out a block of a, a maximum of 25 minutes at a time where you switch everything off, you tell everybody to go away, you leave you alone for 25 minutes, and you focus on one single task. And very importantly, that's a task that will grow your business or move your business forward. Um, and, and maybe we'll do this in more detail in another show. But the, the point there is, is, is about focus. It's about what you can achieve if you focus solidly on something and that's what I'm saying with with serial versus parallel if and, and looking at some some real-world numbers let's say you were trying to create three information products or write three reports or even write three quote quotes for a client anything that has a, a, a deliverable on a date but also that might earn you money and this is the important thing it might earn you money if you were to do these things in parallel, take the example we gave, three three-week projects, and they extend, they end up taking you 12. You then are running for 12 weeks without any potential money coming into your business from those three projects. But if you were to focus on one at a time in serial, one, then the next, and the next, in three weeks, you could quite realistically have finished that first project, put it out, and either got the job from the client, um, sold the product, or whatever it is, and actually started bringing money into your business in three weeks instead of 12. Yep. And if, if that isn't a compelling enough argument to work in serial rather than parallel, I don't know what is. That's what sold me on the idea, because that's the example that I saw in his presentation, you know, was, was, was of building, building a product or something that's going to bring money into your business. And, and it applies across the whole business. It's not just about these projects, it's about anything. And it kind of does go back and talk about the, the, the critical focus time idea, where if you if you focus your time on something that will have an impact on your business, that will grow your business, but you focus in serial, so you get one one big thing done um, or one significant thing done before you try and move on to the next significant thing, then you you'll get a return faster, and also by the way you'll you'll deliver better quality things to your clients. Now, we, we even brought this to bear. We have a lot to do, folks. You know, Pete and I have separate businesses. We also work together. We have a lot of things we, we need to get done. And we've launched, just recently, quite a lot of separate things. And, and we're, we're continuing to bring things out for, to support the printer community. And also, for example, this project with Rich. We had to fly to Florida. We both had to up sticks, get on a plane, and, and find each other in the, in the, the great expanse that is Florida. Uh, and, and and deliver on our, on our our promise to Rich to help his team. But while we're here, we're fully focused on Rich and what we're doing. Other than this little 
you know, we're, we're slip slotting a little bit of time here because we're in the car. We're just, you know, using using our time, which we're good at. Trying to trying to drive on the wrong side of the car and the wrong side of the road. So, yeah, folks, Pete's not so not so chatty today because he's literally wrong side of the car, wrong side of the road. He's doing very well, and, and he's going going commando because he, he switched the GPS off. Um, but in order to get to where we are today. We had a lot of things going on. We had the seven levers launch. We did. We did. And we also brought live Printer Platinum, the Printer community. Absolutely. But what we didn't do is try and do all those things in parallel. What we did is we, we both sat down and we agreed the important order that things needed to happen in. Um, and we focused on one thing. And then when that was complete, we focused on the next thing. Now, yes, okay, folks, we did launch Preneur Platinum and Seven Levers at exactly the same time, uh, and we've talked about why we did that, but one of those things was ready before the other. Absolutely. It was finished and complete, and we focused on it until it was ready to go, and that was really, really important to us because I think we would have missed our goal launch day if we'd have tried to do the two things at once. I have absolutely no doubt. Yep. Yep. You know, and it's a very tough thing to do because you know everybody has ideas, everybody has things they want to do, you know, ways to grow their business, products they want to make, reports they want to write, or even just responses for quotations. Yep. Yeah. Just to just to do the high quality quote that we talk about, you know, to put 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 the effort into it. And a lot of people kind of have like ten on their desk, and they go, oh, "I'll do a bit of that one. I'll do a bit of that one." But in in reality, if you can focus for a period of time on anything. You'll get that one thing done faster if you have all the resources. Obviously, if you don't have the resources, you have to put it back down. So I'm very excited. I'm actually getting to turn right on a red light. So in Australia, you're not allowed to do this. And I do one of the very, one of the many things I love about the US is the ability and the smart um, allowance to let you turn right on a red light. So I actually the first time I came to America without a word of a lie. I sat at the traffic light and there were cars behind me just honking the horn and I'm like, it's a red light buddy, what's the problem? Like, I'm not going to go through a red light, get lost. And eventually, I got where we were going um, and I got out to the office and I said to them, hey look, I got all this, got all this grief from these guys pipping their horn at the red light. And I'm like, no, you can turn right on the red light. And I really thought they were joking, I really thought it was like, you know, I'm, uh, let's, let's play with the foreigner. Let's, 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 let's get the foreigner to do something silly like turn right on a red light. And uh, no, it's, it's, it's actually a very good way to keep traffic it's moving. Very, it's very efficient. It's very, it's very preneur. It's very preneur. And that's what we were talking about. We were talking about we're recording the podcast in the car in downtime, basically. You know, we've got, we've got our microphones up. We're all hands free, folks. It's perfectly safe. Um, but we're recording. I love how you just looked at the GPS like there's a camera. Uh, yeah, that's such a reflex. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm apolog. It's like because the voice comes from it. Okay. She's talking to us. I'm apologising to the yep. to the lady in the GPS. Fair enough. Okay. She's been she's been very helpful for us this week. She has been very helpful for us. Uh, definitely, I would never have even got out of the airport. I'll, I'll be honest about that. Okay, folks. So, like, let's let's wrap this up because we are now at strategic profits. Uh, we're now at Rich's office. We're heading in um, for the big day. Uh, but we just wanted to update you, uh, keep you in the loop with what we're up to, and uh, pass on that little lesson. So try and focus on serial implementation rather than parallel. Apply yourself to one task, even if, even if it's to use a CFT idea, just focus for 25 minutes doing one thing. Or whether it's like get a whole product out by doing a series of focus time, time slots in your day. But either way, Focus on serial rather than parallel, and you'll see the results. Well, one, you'll see results, and two, you'll see those results faster. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, as always, uh, Preneurcast, yeah, the um, show notes and all sort of stuff is available at preneurmedia.tv. So, check that out. We'll put links through to the uh, standing ovation presentation. So, make sure you check that out. That's going to be the biggest takeaway from this week's episode is that having access to that. Uh, We'll be back to our regular scheduled programming in about two weeks' time, I think it will be. We've got another special episode planned for you uh, for next yeah. week. Let's, uh, let's not jump ahead too much, but there, there may be a little surprise in the feed for you guys. Let's put it that way. Okay, fair enough. Under promise, over deliver That's is the, the, uh, the mantra that Dom keeps um, planting in us here. So <laughs> um, thanks for listening. Preneurmedia.tv for the uh, show notes. And uh, when we're both back to uh, our various sides of the globe, We'll be back into our uh, regular scheduled programming. Yep. So speak to you all soon. Do do give us some feedback as always, and uh, thanks for listening. See you guys. You
You've been enjoying another fine episode of PrinterCast with Pete Williams and Dom Gocher. Make sure to hang out with the boys online at printermedia.tv or drop them a line via PrinterCast at printergroup.com.